Welcome to the Transform Sales Podcast, where forward-thinking business leaders come to share their experiences and ideas, learn from each other, and amplify their results together. Hey guys, I'm your writer here with the Transform Sales Podcast. We have the Agency Spotlight Series. Today's guest is the CMO CloudLead.co. Uh, Moaz, I call him Mo. Um, how are you doing, man? How's everything going? It's going good, really good. And how about yourself? How's life? Life is good. I got these blue and red lights cooking me real good. Uh, my standing desk, so I'm happy. And I'm on my second coffee, and it's only 9 in the morning. So I'm going to try to talk slow. Uh, but for those listening on, on this show, uh, we like to do our best to spotlight and highlight some of the best agencies that list in our marketplace and really get into um, some of their case studies, some of the companies they serve us, who they really are, and talk a little bit about the mistakes that buyers make when looking for an agency with the hopes that you guys can avoid those mistakes. But before, before we get into all that fun stuff, Maybe just a quick, uh, quick, quick line about yourself and how you got into the wonderful world of sales agency work. So, as you said, yeah, my name is Moaz Nagori, CMO at CloudLead, and we just simply found a very obvious yet not really catered to problem ab about data, and a lot of salespeople uh, engaging with data in inaccurate data. So we sought to fix that problem. So you saw a problem with data. Um, specifically in, in, in high level, just people spending time and money and effort on bad data, which yeah. results in bad outputs. And then you decide, you, you just knew that you guys could do it a better way. And then, and then you decided to build yeah. CloudLead, uh, which kind of rolls right into my next question. It's perfect timing to tell everybody about CloudLead.co and, and, and really, you know, what sets you guys apart from other sales agencies, uh, especially when it comes to serving your, your ideal clients. Absolutely. I mean, with CloudLead, the only extra mile that we thought was uh, the, the deal breaker, because the list building, the data industry is pretty, you know, uh, saturated in, in itself. But if you make data actionable, people will listen. And what we thought was that, yeah, we need to verify each lead and channel verify them. So understand how responsive they will be on email, social, phone. By validating each channel, we can do that. We can give yeah. that predictability. So, so, so for anybody listening, right, it, it sounds like it's a combination of um, validating if numbers correctly, but also validating if they're going to be picking it up. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Which is important, right? I think a lot of people don't talk about that, right? Like, it's, it's like, it's one thing if you know it's, it's someone's phone number, right? It's another thing to know that, like, they'll actually pick it up. So you guys are... Validating that their emails are correct, validating emails are correct, uh, validating social, but also testing to see if they're going to actually respond to those channels. I think that's a lot of people don't talk about because it's like one thing to get the data right. It's another thing to say, okay, I got the guy. I could have your cell phone number correct. And I could call you 5,000 times and never pick it up. That's still a waste of time, right? So it's, exactly. so it's not only validating the accuracy, but validating the actionability. You, you hit the nail. One thing I would add to it as well that we're doing for some enterprise clients is that uh, we noticed that once we have someone on the phone, there's a lot of value of that, you know, those few seconds of attention. So sometimes we even ask a, an anonymously survey-based question to qualify yeah. them. Having any Makes CRM sense. problems, what are your quarterly goals or uh, problems that, you know, that you want to achieve? And that gives insight, that gives intent. So some that also, this is, this is also what separates a, a, a sales agency that focuses on, uh, lead quality, lead actionability versus versus um, a sales intelligence technology like a Zoom Info or an Apollo, right? This is this is more this is this is different in the sense that you're not just a repository of data and every man for himself, right? Yeah. Companies hire you, enterprise clients, which are your best of clients. I know they are, and then we're going to talk more about that because what they find is that most of these companies probably hire you that already have an Apollo. They probably already have Zoom. Mm -hmm. They're still not getting good email rates, good pickup rates. Enterprise clients will hire you guys to take the data that they already invested in and then have a sales agency, humans, actually verify the actionability on that channel, but also additionally add soft qualifying questions that can give somebody yes. the right answer, right? Yes, yes. Okay. And, and it's not only applicable to enterprise, I'll just add that point. But, but yeah, I mean, they value this a lot because they're, cost per conversation is the highest as well. Who would you say, right? Like, I think the natural reaction when you say that is like everyone's listening, right? So I think it's always one of those things where 
when I say enterprise, you immediately don't want anyone not enterprise to be like, no, we don't want to turn them away, right? That's a normal thing. And I do that on purpose, right? Because it's hard to talk about your 80, 20 rule, right? It's hard to, to focus on the best of clients. But on this episode, I'm gonna make you do that. And I'm gonna I'm gonna make you think, I'm gonna make you pick. Who are your best clients? Are they enterprise, small customers? Tell me who your best are, knowing and anybody listening to this, when I ask Moaz who his best clients are, it does not imply that if you're not in that best fit, that you're not going to get benefits. This is just an exercise of that 80-20 rule. So we've seen uh, clients like ranging from cybersecurity, logistics, uh, information technology, SaaS companies, that's industry agnostic. If you could but, only if you but, could only pick one. But okay. Okay, if I only pick one, who, then I... Who are your best fit? Who are your best fit? If only you pick one. No wrong oh. answer. Okay, I'm not going to pick any. I can tell you mine. I can tell you mine first. You want me to tell you mine? I'll, make, I'll, I'll tell you mine. Ours at CloudTask are... Because uh, it's funny because you're helping me with that campaign. So ours are publicly traded companies that need to beat forecasts on a quarterly basis that are, um, are looking to literally buy over seven figures of the... Quality. That's those are the best clients in our marketplace that um, stay the longest with the agencies we match them, have the highest satisfaction, and ultimately have the highest profit for our company. I'm not afraid to say it, right? Because um, anybody listening, I pull the list of all those companies and I actually use cloudlead.io to enrich the mobile numbers. That co, I always mess that up. Cloudlead.co. Uh, and I, uh, I owe, I'm, I'm going to be targeting my best of clients with your data, with your, with your, work on that data because I read that spreadsheet this morning and it showed me how many times they picked up, how what percentages of actionable, right? So I'm a little bit with, I, I, I know what you're talking about. So now that I told you mine, you tell me yours. So at least they should, uh, the, the company should have at least five BDRs doing outbound and the they, they want to improve the efficacy of that. Simple as that. At least five. I like BDRs. that. That's clear. There's no wrong answer to that and you're smart. It's that B2B. Was, uh, that, B2B. That was... That was the the best concrete answer you can give me that didn't exclude a big part of your TAM, right? So I know what you're doing, right? I'm on to you, man. It's, it's, it's good. Um, but that's great because at the end of the day, look, you can service a lot of people, but if you got a thousand people that have five SDRs or more, you know you're going to make them happy, right? So it's, that's the point of that's the point of the show. That's the point of the marketplace, right? It, it, it's to kind of get that kind of get those answers, right? Because those are the answers that sometimes we don't put on the website, right? Um, so let's talk about one of the companies that you've helped that has five BDRs or SDRs or more and almost walk me through a case study without saying the company's name, unless you can, right? I'd like to know the following things about that case study, right? Like imagine we're just talking about this, this case study um, and it's a, it, it, it fits. I now know that it's going to have five SDRs or more, right? But tell me about... Tell me about um, what problem they, they wanted to fix when they came to you. Tell me a little bit about um, how they were measuring your success, right? Um, what what geography were you cleaning the campaign for? And what results did they get? And how long did it take them to get it? Like, like, like almost like we're talking out loud about this case study. I, I, think that's, so I know it's five SDRs. It's always imperative for us to understand inter internal structure. Okay, so we have four or five licenses. Our BDRs are doing data research. They're doing data verification. That's the problem. We find that in the, are they data verification officers? No, they're not. So we identify that, okay, now 50%, 60% of them are doing data verification and they're not happy with uh, data coverage. That's one big thing. Data but, but, but question though. So. Because you're, yeah. you're talking about them, right? Okay, I'm talking like, about. I want you to talk about one case study. I'm, I'm trying to get you make the time getting you to focus on that one. Okay. That one. So that one let's customer. Take a name. That you're like, yeah, that one. Circle Logistics. That you guys just love. We just signed up. We just signed up with Perfect. Circle Logistics just recently. Okay. Um, we're working with uh, the sales director there, and okay. uh, pre-cloud lead, they had a very low connection rate. Uh, horrible coverage. So what they had was a dream account list and they ran it through two databases and they got like uh, from the 500 or so, if my numbers are correct, I don't know, but they got about like 800 contacts, qualified ICP contacts. We got them 2000. So um, because we just have more coverage. So that was the first thing. You, you, 
you know, you can't sell when you don't have enough data in the first place. And um, the second thing was the inaccuracies. So he, when he told me that, yeah, our, uh, I, I asked these qualifying questions that what is your qualified connection rate? And then we figure out that it's, it's horrible. It's like 3%, 5%, and uh, that's not good. What we did was we supplied data in tiers. Our, we rerun a before and after analysis. I tell them, okay, look, do this. Tell half your SDRs to do what they're doing. Tell the other half, use our data and compare apples to apples. And then the data will do the talking. You'll check that qualified conversations have gone up. Accuracy email deliverability, deliverability has gone up. Social engagement has gone up because now you're putting your resources where they belong. Yeah. And yeah, that's, that's as simple as that. So that's what but again, this is the, the beautiful part about what you just Before. said is that building a billion dollar company typically is simple. It's actually fixing one problem, right? So I think, I think it's great because, you know, what you said is it's a trillion dollar problem, right? Like company is targeting a target account list. Accuracy of mobile numbers is very low. Email is low, social activity is low because of the quality of data, right? That symptom probably affects 95% of sales organizations, right? So they had a clear TAM. They came to you and said, hey, we have this clear TAM. We bought the Zoom Infos. I'm probably right, right? They bought the Apollos, probably yep. right. And the accuracy just wasn't there. And, and what that caused was low connection rates. So we couldn't really coach our SDRs to get better. Cause anybody listening to this, if you have low connection rates, it's much easier to coach somebody who's having 17 conversations per day than two, right? Um, so it, it, it throws the whole system off. You can't coach and you can't even get good at it because you get good at calling by having conversations. So if you have two per day, how, if you have two per day versus 10 per day, all of a sudden where you'd be from a skill perspective after 12 months, you could achieve in 90 days if you have the data, right? So these are things that people don't talk about, right? And it then affects, it then affects this problem that they had, that, that your best ideal customer has. It then affects the fact that their account executives don't get enough demos, right? So now they're not going to hit quota, they're not going to make commission, now they're at risk of leaving for the company. Now it affects your forecast and your quota. Now your now your Series A company is coming and doing clawbacks, right? So what you just mentioned is it, it, it actually has so many symptoms that it affects a company that it's one little thing that can change your AEs from beating bonus, getting better, beating quota, raising a series B. So it's, it's a big deal that nobody talks about, but it's like, if, if, if you think about um, farming, right? Like what's going to happen if you plant bad seeds, you can wait for six months, your crop to come out, but it's ultimately was doomed from the beginning right? Because there's bad seeds. So data providers right now, they're doing a good job of getting a lot of quantity out there, but the accuracy yeah. is not good, right? Um, yeah. And it's just the truth, right? So you're fixing that problem of accuracy and has all these downstream symptoms. So to finish off this verbal case study, the before was they had low connect rates, low meetings, probably low revenue. What was the after and how long did it take them to get that? So uh, just because we recently signed them, I don't have the exact, exact latest numbers. They're still running them. But uh, 3x improvement in connect rates is very minimal for us to see. Like uh, if anyone's getting 5% or 7%, it's easy to get 3 to 5x in connect rates. And that's a past, I mean, I can quote previous case studies where that has already oh, I'm, happened. I'm following you. But so you get three um, to five times connect rates, you can get three to five times avoidance and three to five times pipeline. Yeah, I mean, if the if the succeeding stats support it. So, but yeah, uh, but that's true. The logic, the logic is right there. You're you're absolutely right. I'm also trying to highlight the fact that that's all you have to do to help save trillions of dollars of waste and build a huge company. You need to just get. It's like getting a three to five x increase on your seeds, which are your data. That has a huge downstream effect. Right. So I, I, for me, I know it's a big deal. Um, I know that my time is valuable. Right. So if I was doing this campaign and I had to call with bad numbers and help people, I'd be losing money in my time. Right. So I'm also going to see if there's a three to five X and I'm going to, I'm going to be doing this out live. I'm going, to, I'm going to be recording this whole campaign. Um, but that's what I want. So I want that, I want that three to five X uptake 
Um, tell me a little bit about like mistakes that buyers make. Like what, what's this, what is a common mistake that buyers make? Like let's just make that a buyer. I know that I have a problem with the quality of my data. I've invested in database providers. There's nothing I can do to make the, the quality of their data higher. I know that I need a sales agency at this point, and now I'm looking for them. Are there common mistakes that buyers on that process make that if they avoided those mistakes, they would be able to find the right agency to support them better and also have the right expectations? Um, what have you seen in that? In that? So when I'm... Uh like trying to understand and really do a bit of discovery. I, I, it's my job to understand what their current stats are. But to my disappointment, I must say, a lot of, a lot of sales leaders are not keeping tabs on uh, connect rate, qualified connect rate, which is way more important. Because when I ask them connect rate, we're like, we're getting an excellent connect rate. Like how many gatekeepers or how many operators are you talking? That's a very good question. I'll have to see that. And I'm just like, that changes everything, my man. That changes everything because yeah, yeah. you figure this out when right. I dig in further, 50% of them are operators. 20% of them are, 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 are the right marks, but half of them are the wrong ones. They're, they're, not, they're not the real mark, you know? Those are vanity metrics then. It's as simple as that. They're not real uh, metrics. I, 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 I honestly, I, I wouldn't say that I could have guessed that. I would come along the lines because when companies hire sales agencies to produce pipeline, often the biggest mistake is that they don't even have an ROI calculator or they don't even have to work, they don't even have to funnel. So this is the same problem, right? It's like the biggest mistake that buyers make are, I know I got a problem with following my data, right? But I actually don't know the stats. So what Boaz is saying is that to be a better buyer and by better buyer, I ultimately mean more, Find the right agency, make the right deal, and be satisfied, right? You should come prepared with what the data quality stats are at the current moment. You should set smart goals for what you want them to be. And then you should shop for a sales agency to fix your problem because it will make a cloudlead.co or, or anyone who else does it, you know, quality leads, it will make your job giving you guys a quote knowing whether or not the qualifier it'll 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 make that a lot better and i think i think that's a big deal and i don't think we have to say anything else because anybody listening to this it's you kind of know that right i think it's more of just like do we have the discipline and time to do it right um but that's a it's a big deal and, and i and anybody you know anybody who uh is listening to this um you know check out check out cloudly.co i'm sure they got a lot of tools for you guys to to, to download some templates so you can you can uh, score your current data before and after um, which would be which would be awesome uh, Moaz, this has been great I think for anybody listening I'm taking this a step further I am targeting our best clients which are we're a marketplace right so that the, the, our best clients happen to be the best clients of the agencies that are listed right uh, I am going to I'm going to run this campaign and I'm going to try to get $10 million in top line revenue uh, in 180 days. And, and if I fail, I'm going to hold my head up high, um, but your accuracy is going to help me. Uh, anybody who wants to learn more about just being a better buyer, um, what kind of upticks they can get from better data, where can they find you? How can they reach out to you? What's the best way to connect with you? Best way is through our website, of course. You can easily just sign up there or you can... Yeah, you can always directly email me or add me on LinkedIn. And that's always a more, I guess, personal route as well, which is fine. That's been a very common channel for us. Uh, yeah, you can always reach out to me there. Right. Why not? That's awesome. Listen, I, I appreciate you helping me out with my campaign. Um, Anything. It's been awesome. Anybody who, uh, anybody who is interested in, in getting the whole list of outsourced sales agencies like cloudly.co, feel free to go to our website and download the list for free. Information is always free where we're at. And uh, I'll let everybody, I'll let you go back, getting back to verify numbers. I'm calling your data today, by the way, oh. um, liter literally. So like, I, I'm, I'm literally going to be calling in. I'm going to be using Orum, kind of parallel dialing. So uh, I'm excited. Everybody, thank you for tuning in to the Transform Sales Podcast, Agency Spotlight Series with uh, my partner and good friend. Thank I'm you, nice. Amir. Thank you so Sorry. much. It's been a pleasure. Cloudly.co. Cloudly.co it is.
We didn't freeze this time. All right, man. Take we, care. We, we never freeze. Have a nice day. <laughs> Bye.